Hello guys, this is uh, Dr. Palanay Panmanikam. There have been increasing cases of COVID-19 again back in our hospital. It is mainly because 50% of people here in the United States are not vaccinated yet, despite the availability. And on the top of it, there have been some issues, one or the other, with the vaccine every week. This week is Johnson & Johnson. In the varam, Johnson & Johnson varam. So in this video, we're going to talk about what are the neurological complications of vaccine in general? What is the complication associated with Johnson & Johnson vaccine? How risky it is? Let's dive deep into it. So there have been 100 reports of neurological side effects after receiving Johnson & Johnson vaccine, which is called Guillain-Barre syndrome or Guillain-Barre syndrome. Very difficult to pronounce, so let's keep it as GBS. I'm pretty sure I butchered the name, similar to how my patients butchered my first name, so I went with Dr. Pal. So what is the GBS? Imagine that with vaccination, we are producing antibodies so that it is ready to fight coronavirus if it comes inside the body. But unfortunately, in very rare instances, what happens is these antibodies think that our nerves are foreign to us and it does not belong to us. It starts eating up the nerves, causing some muscle weakness. Imagine that we are in a football field and by vaccination, we are creating a solid goalkeeper so nobody can score a goal beyond us. But unfortunately, in some rare instances, our own goalkeeper can score a self goal against us causing damage. And that is what is exactly happening with this nerve complication. And this kind of damage happens usually within six weeks after vaccination. So if you have received Johnson & Johnson vaccine in the past, don't even worry about it. This is not a problem for you. Usually it causes numbness and tingling sensation in arms and legs. And sometimes it can cause involuntary jerky movements. My friend Saravana Kumar is like, Day pal, I have been noticing these movements for the past few days. Day, that is not GBS, ra. that is Vati coming. If you keep doing like this for me, Vati coming. So there have been 13 million doses of Johnson & Johnson given throughout the United States. And out of this 13 million, 100 cases have been reported so far. If you do the number, it comes around 1 in 100,000. As I said before, it happens usually within 6 weeks after vaccination, mainly in men more than 50 years of age. This GPS is not only caused by vaccination, it can be caused by any kind of autoimmune phenomenon. For example, if you end up getting a stomach bug by eating something outside, that viral infection can cause GPS down the road as well. Fortunately, this is extremely rare. In United States, it's usually around 3,000 to 6,000 cases per year. Many people have not heard about GBS at all because it is an extremely rare disease. My friend Saravana Kumar thought GBS is a government benefit scheme and he was standing first in the line. And I told him GBS is a disease da and he was like this Johnson guy fooled me. It is easier for me to say that the risk is extremely low. Please proceed with vaccination. Benefits outweigh the risk. But I understand that if that one person is your family member, it could be significantly devastating. I told my friend Saravana Kumar, the risk of GBS after Johnson Johnson vaccine is 1 in 100,000. But the risk of death is 1 in 100 if you are not vaccinated. And he was like, everything one only da. I have to open up a channel for teaching mathematics. So how about other vaccines? More than 100 million doses of Pfizer and Moderna have been given so far. There have been no associated GBS symptoms at all. Even with Covishield or AstraZeneca, there have been no significant association of GBS with these vaccinations, despite millions of doses being administered. Vaccine poda vakiradhukku, risk is low abdinte, low low nu katha vendudhukku, idhila dance vera aadathul vayangapodhu. So if you ask me if there is any problem with Johnson & Johnson vaccine at all, I can tell you there is one problem. Personally, I feel like they stopped the study with just one dose because they wanted to compete with Pfizer and Moderna. The efficacy rate of Johnson & Johnson vaccine should have been equal to Pfizer and Moderna if they would have given the second dose as well. This is as the name itself is Johnson and Johnson, it is very logical to give the second dose as well. I think Johnson and Johnson is getting into all these problems because it is not a supporter of feminism. If it was me, I would say it is Johnson and John daughter and give two doses to everybody. I'm hoping that FDA would approve the booster dose of Johnson and Johnson sooner so that efficacy doesn't wean down. 
So bottom line, if you ask me what will you do, I will say that Johnson & Johnson is an extremely safe vaccine. The risk of GBS is extremely low. But one can argue that there have been no reports of GBS at all with Pfizer and Moderna. Yes, I take that point. So if you have an alternative to Johnson & Johnson, if you have an option to choose Pfizer and Moderna, you could still proceed with that. But if you don't have an option, it is absolutely okay to take Johnson & Johnson because benefits outweigh the risk in this case. See, the problem is this news has been blown out of proportions. If you see the caption in one of the news channel, it says Johnson & Johnson dose will give you paralysis. If you just see that news, you will get paralysis. See, due to all these problems and concerns with J&J, there have been so many unused vials sitting in the shelf in many hospital departments. People who are not vaccinated here in the United States do not understand the importance of this vaccine. If it was me, I will send all these vaccines to India so we can save millions of lives. We can actually market it as, instead of Johnson & Johnson, we could label it as Ambani and Adani so that along with the vaccine, they will also get free 5G data. So overall, Guillain-Barre syndrome, a pretty pair of mari disease. So stay safe, get vaccinated. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.